Good morning, Homestead 2. Mary and I just arrived here very early in the morning. The sun hasn't risen yet, but it's light enough to where we can do a video here. But Mary's taking care of the cats. Hi, Mary. Hi. She's taking care of the cats. My name is Dale Dufay. This is the 13th in a series of videos we're going to be doing documenting the remodeling of this mobile home. Uh, which we found out was put here in 1981, but the trailer's older than that. I think we're guessing the trailer's in was built in, uh, you know, after 1976. But this is look at what Mary and I did yesterday. Uh, we started on the skirting here, and as you can see, we're doing like typical framing, but with four by four top plates and sill plate, and then two by four vertical studs. And it's approximately two feet tall, but over here is where um, someone else started doing the shoring up and uh, uh, Mary and I took over, thank goodness, because Mary had a really good idea. If you could see here, they just put the top plate on top of the iron works, you know, basically the, the extended girders that are out, as you can see in here. But it was Mary's idea to notch it. She, she was like, you know, why don't we notch it? Right, Mary? I mean, it was like, and, and it's right here, right? Right here. You can see the difference. And as we see to the left, what they did, and then to the right, what we did. See how we notched every girder. Or, you know, I'm not sure what they call those. They, they definitely act as a cantilever. But by notching it, it brings it right up to the bottom of the floor here, you can see. And you can see the metal in there is notched. But, cause you don't really have, even though it does support the metal br brackets, it's, it mostly supports the two by six framework that the metal brackets are mounted to. So by, and it's, time inside. yeah, and it's, you know, it was, it's, it's amazing. So like, like on the inside, it'll act as a cleat, right, Mary, on the floor. So I'll show inside what we're talking about. But look at the difference, you know. Obviously, we're going to go back and finish and redo all this. But, you know, they did about maybe 30 feet that we were going to redo. And we're going to do it like this all the way around, which is obviously way better. Uh, and then we're going to insulate that with R19 insulation and then cap it with cement board. And then we'll put the siding up. Uh, you know, start it way down on the cement board instead of a, you know, traditional mobile home. We got the whole front done as well, too, huh, Mary? Yep. I mean, we were here we're till jamming. five o'clock yesterday getting this all done. Of course, we don't want to do more than eight hours because Mary really shouldn't be working at all. <laughs> but uh, she's been really working, really every day here with me. Uh, and working very hard. She's been a tremendous help in many ways, mostly with the brain. <laughs> She's physically, <laughs> helping physically, but yeah. I call her, you know, Radar, you know, and also Einstein. But you can see the, you know, this is gonna be like this all the way around the trailer. We're, today we're gonna do this side. We might do the other side because the sun is gonna hit it pretty soon and this side is shaded in the afternoon. But you can see how the trailer is sagging there. So once we shore it up with this construction, uh, it'll not be sagging anymore. It'll floor will be perfectly flat, at which time we'll be able to do the floor inside, which we're really anxious about doing. Uh, and you know, here's the material left uh, that we have remaining uh, to finish the skirting. And then of course, we're gonna reuse the material that they used on uh, their attempt i mean they didn't do anything wrong there's our helper helperton how you doing bobette uh but they you know they they had the right idea and everything and they thought we were still keeping the skirting yeah and then we were going to do the put the you know right mary the, 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 the plan on. was to still use uh that skirting the metal skirting and stuff but our plan is to insulate and cement board that way the whole crawl space will keep warm all winter. Uh, and that's what the, the, the goal is here because they had problems and issues with pipes bursting and whatnot and freezing. 
uh, prior to this. So this will prevent that. And once the shoring's complete on this side, that's the you know west side I was showing you that we have yet to do. And then from the inside, you can see what we have done. And uh, see how we lined up the studs, you know, our studs with the studs in the trailer. Uh, so, you know, that's a, that gives it uh, that added support. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's, see how that nice that is? And then we're gonna continue it and redo what they did to make it all like that, you know, what we did yesterday. So that's pretty exciting, huh, Mary? That's and then we can, uh, and then we, what's really neat is then now we got, if you look at a pan over here, and there's all the flooring material right there. You can see the tongue and groove plywood and all the two by 10 and two by six joist material, uh, which we are gonna intertwine within uh, the, you know, these, this metal work here. Now, let me show you, I wanted to show you what, what one of the benefits I'm kind of, um, walking on this I beam, and my my ba my balance is is you know <laughs> it's pretty precarious. So, but anyway, I want to show you the benefits here of uh, what Mary came up with her idea of notching it, and see what that does is it brings this four by four up flush with this metalwork here. So when we enter, you know, we put the joists between this metal work this way, you know, we have our basically a cleat right here, a solid four by four cleat on the outer perimeter of the inner floor. So that'll be real strong. And then within here, we're gonna do joists, the two by six joists. And then between the main framework here and there, we're gonna, that's where the two by tens go. We're gonna go in between these. And of course, we'll show you as when that time comes, we're really hoping by the end of the week, we get on this floor, you know, but like everything, it just seems like, you know, no matter what you do, it just takes forever. <laughs> but we felt like we got a lot accomplished by, you know, doing this, you know, really the proper way. And again, I credit Mary, you know, for, for a tremendous idea. And I, you know, and I just, I'm so glad to be, that she's with me, helping me, you know, and I do feel concerned about it because she's supposed to be uh, recovering from her stroke, but she's doing real well. She's actually, uh, it just helps. yeah, it, it just, I think it really does help her, you know, it really does because it keeps her mind busy. Uh, she's actually, uh, she's actually smarter than I am in many ways. So together we make a really good team. Again, we're going to hopefully get that all framed underneath today and finish what or redo what uh, they attempted which again i'm not criticizing what they did of course again i'm i'm uh forgive me i'm balancing on a beam here okay here i'm on solid footing hi mary <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway uh, this video is a little longer than i wanted but you know i wanted to show you what we did it's really exciting and uh you know, it just it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in Southwest Michigan. Just beautiful, unbelievable. Uh, we found out too that all that property where these trees are is ours because we found out that this is a, a acre lot, a one acre lot. And it goes approximately 160 feet from the road to the back. So we that, that says we have a 200 and 75 foot frontage which extends well beyond those trees on the road uh, so that's really exciting so we found out that this all that wooded lot is ours part of the one acre lot uh, so that's that was really exciting we found that out last night uh, because <laughs> the, the the landlords had this property since 2007 and uh he, you know the plata survey who knows where it is <laughs> you know but uh, i found out uh, by research that this is a one acre lot and the frontage is quite extensive. Like I said, it, it, approximately 275 feet. Uh, so we're gonna kind of measure that today and see just how far it extends to the east on the, on the frontage road there, or you know, on the frontage property uh, off that road. So anyway, we'll call it at that and 
Mary, say goodbye. And I just wanted to tell, say, give a shout out to Sean for the donation that he gave because we're not getting paid for any of this work that we are doing. And so it's kind of a struggle on us here and at our other place trying to keep everything together and going. So thank you, Sean. That was awesome. Love you guys. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. So with that, we thank you for watching. And we'll talk at you later. Love you.